Amazing. That just went completely crazy. All that. They dived in here to throw this girl to the floor. And they went completely mad. Completely mad. Fucking police are out of control. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Grow up. For God's sake, that was uncalled for. Uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. You violent people. You violent, abusive people. Police just went completely crazy on this poor, small female. What the hell was that about? All of that for a tiny female. All of these jumped in. They threw apart the males. The police are now out of control and on private property and no cause. Look at that behaviour. You are ashamed of yourselves. You are out of control and wrong today. Today was wrong. Your behaviour and your officers is appalling. Absolutely appalling. So what? So what? Did it warrant that? Did it warrant that? A vehicle, well, whoopee. Look at how many of you just attacked her. You violent, abusive, unprofessional police. Nasty, unprofessional. Dirty bastards. Overreactive, overhyped up. Fucking. Ah! Oh. All of them to fucking bullies! And you're having a laugh about it now. Yeah, you picked on little girls! You picked on little girls! You picked on little girls! But you're fucking not! Look you at what? you! Why is that smiling? Look at what you just did! What? Just Come in here and I will! Are you provoking him to attack you? Come in here and I will! You're working! You're working! We're not! Your job! You should be bigger than this! Stop it! Your job! Section 4, he just you offered me out on camera. You unprofessional bastard. Look at your behaviour. You are a cop. You got up, put your uniform on and went to work as a grown male. And you were attacking people. Unnecessary. Let that be. Let that go on the record. We're going to make a complaint. Arrogance. Look at the arrogance. You're professional men at work. Grown ups. We're angry populace. They really are. They really are, and that showed up. Even you showed up. Every time you look at the arrogance at one two five eight, he just happened every time for a fight. This is a bunch of men having a friggin' fight, not professional police officers trying to maintain calm and safety in a community. This is a bunch of arrogant alpha males kicking off. Look at the arrogance. Call it back, call it back. I am a town councillor and I want to know why Under what power is she I don't know whether she's been arrested. No, 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 blah, blah, blah. Under what power? Under what power? Where's the sergeant or the, or the PSU commander who can tell me what I want to know? Where's the 2324? Under what power is she being, is she being detained? No, I will speak if you stop shouting over me. Okay. Please. She's been arrested under section 22A of the Road Traffic Act for jumping on a moving articulator wagon. She didn't jump on the lorry. Between the tractor unit and the trailer. She didn't jump on the lorry. Get off private okay. property, please. Are you asking us a question? Do you want me to speak or do you, you want me to not speak? Are you on the street? 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 Let's just get, <laughs> Chica, let's get the questions answered first, love. Do your job okay. properly. So that's the answer to the question. That's the answer to the question. Can I just ask why it warranted about 10 officers to jump on her on private land? You better have video evidence that you got in the lorry. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you why, because you saw the result yourself, what happened. You, That's you, why. you caused that! Your arrogant police officers called that! People like 1258, who believes he's here as a man, not a professional police officer. Standing up for your male rights and being aggressive, calling other people out for a fight. Do you think that's what you get up for? What? You did and I filmed it, so... We got, oh, we got you on camera, 1258. I saw it. I saw Excellent. It. Excellent. Excellent. Look yeah. at you. It's good, isn't it? You're a grown man at work. When the day comes, you guys are You're a be... grown man at work. Behave like it. You guys are going to be banged to rights. Take, when you go back up, take a you look at the sign You don't work with that face. When you go back up, take a look at the sign there about Aubrey. Aubrey, right? What? It's the sign. That sign, yeah? 
Oh, you probably can't read signs, can you? Yeah, you're not that clever. Yeah. You leave it now. They're unprofessional. They don't behave like police officers. They behave like angry men they in a pub. They behave like corporate. Angry men corporate in a pub. That's all you were just now. They behave like. I, I do not. That, I'll listen to you. You know what I mean. Why antagonise me further? I wasn't asking who you were as a drinking man. I said you behave like men in a pub. That's what you behave like. Yeah. Oh, you so were. Your face was vindictive worse than it. No, you weren't as bad as him. You're protecting. There's no defence of your behaviour this morning. No defence. Sir, I'm a protecting quadrilateral. Yes, you are. Obviously. Jesus, it's just frustrating. And here they are filming what they claim will be evidence. Hope that the evidence is being used against your officers who behave like idiots. That was an actual brawl. That was a brawl. Not professional policing. Not professional men got up, went to work and had professional work. No, that was a bunch of men jumped into a squabble and decided to fight like they were out. Um, I suggest we get. Oh, no, we got everybody out of the way. It's just, it's just not helping. Who's got a calm police department? Well, we're not now, but yeah. Look at the face of this man and watch the way he deals with the public and how he seeks to diffuse public aggression. How does this man handle that in his professional capacity as a police officer? You can't have an opinion. Yeah, you tell us you don't have an opinion, yet all of a sudden. When a camera's on you, mate, you can't have an opinion, all right? So shut up. Then, very good. Very good. Shut up. I'll shut up. Do what your colleague tells you to do and shut up, all right? Yeah, and they ruined it. Well done. It's alright, leave him enough rope, Dan. We don't need to promote. No, he'll do it himself. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is. Well done for helping poison out the kids around here. Well done. Let's not provoke him. Don't bother me. Don't bother me at all. Excuse the violence. I am not bothered in the slightest what any of you think or what I look or anything to say. Of course he's angry. Did you see your face earlier? You were a thousand times worse than him. You were much worse. You, no, your colleagues, what, by the little girl? By the little girl? Did I touch someone? Did I put my hand on anyone? Did I put my hand on anyone? Oh God, I really, I don't know how you fathom or reason with the lack of, look at his face. He's a professional police officer. He got up, put his work uniform on and came to work to keep the peace, calm the situation and look at his behavior. He's an aggressive male, just an aggressive male who happens to be a cop. He's got cold hands though because he's, he's wearing things too late. He's got a, um, <laughs> What well, has he got on. those on? Is that those? Um... No, he's got thermals on. He must be very cold. Cold heart, so I think. You should all be very ashamed this morning. Very ashamed for your lack of professional conduct. It was disgusting. I've never seen anything like it. You make me sick today. <laughs> Just trying to breathe. So, if you're a police officer, your job is to maintain the safety of all the people on this road. And that even if you decide you want to aggress a little girl and you don't all jump on her. And look, continue to force, force the aggression, continue to cause ill feeling. Because you're not there to snipe and win a fight. They're there to keep peace and law and order. But they snipe. They pick fights. They goad people. They want violence. It's the only thing they can deal with. So anyone just joining the stream, we're down at Maple Farm. A convoy went past, was going past. And so consequently, um, the police did what they always do, which is jump out of their vans, um, hold us hostage in here, really, basically kidnap. Um, and block our gates and don't let us out because there's a risk that we might um, go and jump on a truck or do the things that we do, which is non-violent direct action. Don't forget, all we ever do is sit inconveniently or walk very slowly. So they thought one of the young females, tiny little thing, uh, was jumping on a truck. So they chased her into here, um, a whole cluster of them, I mean, literally masses of them, threw her to the ground brutally. And then 
they just piled in and naturally as would happen and we're on private land at this stage as would happen to any male seeing that happen the males rushed in to try and get involved and help her i promise that's what it was it was natural defense we were not attacking they had the young female on the floor all of them were on top of her and so then the males attempted to get close they jumped more police came they attempted to throw all the young males out of the way they threw them and it was brutal and violent and unprofessional and nothing to do with good policing or keeping calm and safety in this community everything about that was totally unprofessional totally unprofessional he's always telling me about good pr yeah now he and i he's have talked and he's got to be ashamed He's got to feel the shame. Yeah, the shame. Be. That 1258 was disgusting and goading and rude. I don't even think he's a proper officer. Oh. Oh. So anyway. So that's that. So that's the good morning start. It doesn't have to be this way. The police could act like professionals. They're fully grown men when they come to work in the mornings. Put their uniform on. And their, their, their role should be to maintain calm. You know, we can get angry. We're the protesters. We're the people who are in our community who are standing up to the industry. The police are there to make sure that we're kept safe as well as the industry. And what do they do? Instead, they come, they provoke. I think it's because you get days like yesterday where it is so beautiful and peaceful and you can see the truth of our movement. The truth of our movement looks like yesterday and looks like how tomorrow will look. But they make it ugly. They deliberately make it ugly so that scenes like this are what you'll talk about. So that you'll get to say, oh, look, it's the police um, fighting those nasty activists. And it's not. It is the police provoking the activists by harming small females. I've seen them drag elderly ladies by their hair. <coughs> they do this because policing is easier if you're violent. That's the rule and that's easier for them. They can police you if you're violent. If a day like yesterday, where we sat in peace and we sat and sang, they could not move us on, they could not aggress against us because we were so clearly not aggressive. This morning was clearly not aggressive from us as well, but you didn't get to see that because by the time I got here filming, they were already attacking us female and had her on the floor. It was just awful, awful, awful and sad. You know, really desperately sad that that is the truth of what the police need to do their job and protect this industry is for us and them to be in conflict that is violent and aggressive. What they don't want is for a hundred people to sit in the gates peacefully, not disturbing the traffic, not disturbing the population, only disturbing our only target, which is Quadrilla. So as we sat peacefully until 6.30 last night, there was no aggression. Now that could be the way of the future. That could be the way that non-violent direct action is supposed to happen. But the police don't want that because their job therefore must be to prioritize getting Quadrilla's trucks in. So they need scenes like this morning. That's what they need. He's trying to explain. I'm not going to go over for the explanation because I'll get too angry at the lies and the misinterpretation. <sighs> and he's one who's normally reasonably reasonable. But even he is only covering up now and defending the indefensible of those officers. You saw it in their faces on the live stream. You can see what they're here for. They are not here as professional officers, some of these people. And, you know, some of them are being forced to work 15-hour shifts. You know, I do not want to be policed by people like that. 1258 was, I'm sorry, a complete and utter dick. In the real world, I imagine he's a complete and utter dick. And certainly as a police officer, he has no right to continue his dickish behaviour when he's on duty. Right, I'm going to go and calm down and get a slice of toast.